Hello Samurai, thank you for joining me on the ride to Night City. I am Mista and today we're gonna talk about the vehicles in Cyberpunk 2077 and all we know about them so far. If you love Cyberpunk like I do, consider subscribing and ring that bell so you don't miss any future upload. Also follow me on Twitch, I'm gonna be streaming Cyberpunk exclusively there and I have prepared some dope shit for you there link in the description below we have basically four categories of vehicles in night city plus the avs which you can ride but not fly yourself there are the high tier cars which are the most expensive luxury ones then there are the mid-tier cars which some wealthy citizens and lower level corpus use there are the low tier cars which you can find in the poor districts of night city and the motorbikes starting with the motorbikes we have two manufacturers first brennan cycles who offer a more traditional approach and are known for their cruisers and choppers and then we have the japanese manufacturer yaiba who specializes in sport models that are named after legendary weapons from japanese mythology and are especially popular among street racing biker gangs we have not seen any confirmed brennan motorcycles yet Yaiba, on the other hand, has the Kusanagi, which first appeared in the E3 2019 gameplay demo. Unlike many of the other vehicles, the Kusanagi doesn't seem to be based on a real-life motorcycle. Instead, it draws inspiration from anime with its red paint job and stickers referring to Kaneda's bike in the Akira series, and its name taken directly from the protagonist of Ghost in the Shell. On the low tier, we have two manufacturers, the Indian Mahir Motors is known for their vans and its economy class vehicles. There is the Mahir Microvan from Night City Wire 3 and the Mahir Microvan Voodoo Boys Edition, let's say, like it's Voodoo Boys Edition, I don't know. And then we have the manufacturer Makigai, who fills the niche for cheap compact passenger cars, from which we have, haven't seen anything really yet. If you have uh, spotted anything, please let me know in the comments below. Now the mid-tier, where we find the most of the vehicles and variations of them. Starting with the famous Quadra, who excels at designing and building muscle cars like the Type 66 or their most iconic design, the Turbo R. Let's start with the Quadra Turbo. The Quadra Turbo VTEC, with its powerful 740 horsepower turbocharged V8 engine, it instantly became a star in the tuner scene when it was released in the mid 50s, despite its universal criticized suspension. The Quadra Turbo R was introduced as Americans' response to Japanese sport manufacturers. It was designed and manufactured in Detroit, the cradle of the American motor industry. There is also a base model of the well known Turbo R VTEC, the Quadra Turbo. Next, we have the Quadra Type 66 model in my personal favorite because I love muscle cars. It is in the world of Cyberpunk book and also was shown in various screenshots and in some trailers. We have also seen the Type 66 in two more variations, the Type 66 Aldecados and the Type the River one, custom built Wraith Gang vehicle and it's near like 1000 horsepower. Next, we have the manufacturer Thornton, known for their mid class passenger cars, sought after by Normans for their durability. We have the Thornton hatchback Boober in the gray, the gray red car we saw in the Normand Life Path video, and it looks sweet in my opinion. We saw the basic Wraith and Gang variation of the hatchback in a couple of other clips too. Then there is the Makino and the Chenoa, I hope I pronounced it correctly, and they have also different versions. Next is the manufacturer Archer. Archer is known for their mid class passenger cars. We have the MR2, due to this likeliness in the Toyota MR2, so maybe like it's the MR2, I don't know. The model name isn't visible anywhere on the car, but branding says Archer in some, in some form. Then we have the Archer Sedan, you can find it in one of the postcards from the deluxe edition of the world of Cyberpunk 2077. We have the Archer Sedan Valentinos, a modified version of the Archer Sedan driven by the Valentinos gangs. Sticker bomb hood and external oil cooler. There are also the 6th Street who uses an Archer Sedan and the NCPD who has a, vari a variant 
end of the sedan as well. Then we have the Chevillon. The manufacturer Chevillon is known for their neo-militaristic style and their model names inspired by the Roman Empire. Their vehicles are widely used by the police and the corporate security forces. We have the Chevillon Limo. We have seen it first time in the 48-minute gameplay video with Texas Deshaun. It was unbranded, but now in a new footage, we have seen the Chevillon logo in uh, its interior. There's also a heavily modified version of the limo used by the 6th Street Gang. We have also seen the Chevillon truck used by the NCPD, Arasaka and Militech as well. Next, we have the manufacturer Mizutani. Japanese manufacturer focuses on the production of sport models. There is the Mizutani Coupe and the one from the official tweet from the announcement of Night City Wire episode 4. There is also the Mizutani Buggy from the Wraith Gang. It's a heavily modified version of the Coupe with basically only the middle bit reused. The shape of the windshield and the little black trim piece that goes along the front fender onto the door is a giveaway. And then we have in the Life Path trailer also a buggy Alecaldos Mizutani. Last for the mid tier, we have the Vileford who builds good quality full size cars that are popular amongst wealthier citizens and lower ranked corporate officials. Villefort's model names are derived from famous explorers and conquerors like Cortes, Narvaez, or Alvarado. The Villefort Alvarado is a model we have seen in multiple occasions and its characteristic six wheel, four in the front and two in the back give it away immediately. The Villefort Combat Cab in Night City is used by mercenaries, corporate, thugs, gangs and anyone else looking to complete jobs. The Combat Cab was driven by an AI by the name of Dylan Main in the E3 2019 cinematic trailer. There are also some police and sheriff variants of the model. It appears that there will be also some Villefort vans in couple of variations. Lastly, we have the top tier cars and the two manufacturers that play on the that level, Herrera and Rayfield. The Spanish Herrera designs and produces glamorous cars for customers with a flair for the exotic. In addition to record setting performance, they also offer unparalleled comfort. There is a four door Herrera in the World of Cyberpunk 2077 book, and there are some brief appearances in some trailers. The British Rayfield is known for their superb quality sports cars and custom made luxury limousines designed with both comfort and speed in mind. The Rayfield Iron Died, named after the silver sword from the Witcher games, projects an external view inside a fully enclosed windowless body providing absolute protections and privacy for the passengers. Then we have the mysterious yellow car in the CGI trailer on the Keanu Reeves commercials which uh, I assume it's a Rayfield, but we don't know if it's gonna be in the game, so we're gonna wait and see further on the Night City Wire episode 4. Probably, most likely, we will see, I don't know. I will be live streaming the Night City Wire episode 4, so feel free to join me on Thursday, October the 15th. Or you can watch the VOD after the live stream, it will be on the channel. That was all we know about vehicles so far. If I did miss anything, please let me know in the comments below. Also, please also let me know which one is your favorite and which one would you keep forever if you can choose only one. Thank you very much for sticking with me in this super long video. I appreciate that. If you enjoyed it though, hit that like button. Helps me a ton out. I will appreciate that. And also, if you want more cyberpunk videos in the future please consider subscribing and ring that bell so you don't miss anything i am mister and i'm gonna see you in night city game on samurai